The animal kingdom is full of weird creatures doing weird things. Honestly, I think even the experts tend to get a little bit confused when they see animal behavior in the wild. So today we are going to try and shed some light on the weirder side of nature. From a monkey murder to the steady psychological breakdown of some ant, we're taking a look at the 20 strangest animal behaviors caught on camera. <sighs> Number 20. Self-hating chimpanzees. Do you want to solve a murder mystery? Well, I don't have one, but I have an already solved murder, if you want to take a look at that. We're about to see a murder in a tiny community where all of the suspects look alike. But the reason behind it, kind of unclear. As you can see from this footage, one of these chimpanzees is dead. Who killed the chimpanzee? Well, it's probably not what you're thinking. Absolutely no human was involved in the tragic killing of this monkey. No, no, this was an inside job. Studies have shown that, with the exception of humans, chimpanzees are the only primates known to gang up on and murder their fellow chimps. This is why chimpanzees hate their own kind. They have no mercy for their own species. It's disturbingly human. There's no consensus on why this is. In fact, studies looking into the reasons behind this intense murder spree can't seem to agree on the root cause. Some suggest that it's the consequence of human activity, but it actually seems like it's good old-fashioned genetic makeup. These chimps live in territorial colonies. If neighbors wander in uninvited, well, it's no different to a home invasion, and that rarely ends well unless it's a surprise party, in which case we're weirdly okay with it. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19, Ant Death Spiral. I'll be the first to admit that the words death spiral don't do much to make you think it is going to be fun or good for anybody, but rest assured, this is a mere phenomenon that comes out of strict organization. Is that good? Uh, sure. The ant mill is a phenomenon in which a group of army ants become separated or distant from the main party. They lose the pheromone track, forcing them to follow one another, which, as anybody that's ever tried to follow a GPS will tell ya, usually ends up leading you around and around in a circle. Hence, the death spiral is named because the ants will eventually die of exhaustion. It's basically what happens when ants lose the map and desperately try to apply some sense of structure to their slow, painful death. You have to admire them for trying at least. The death spiral phenomenon is actually not all that uncommon, even outside of ants. Caterpillars and fish have also been known to adopt the process. And I think it's a given that even humans would end up doing the same thing. If ever you get lost, there's something very comforting in following somebody who seems to know where they're going. Unfortunately, they never actually know where they're going. But the confidence is lovely at least. Number 18, Turkey Chase. These turkeys have lost their dang mind. Just look at them walking around this tree as if it's some kind of budget carousel. Maybe it's time for somebody to create the world's first carnival for animals? No, let's not do that, actually. That's, uh... That's a lot of poop. Actually, these turkeys have not lost their mind whatsoever. While it may look to us like these turkeys are just chasing one another for fun, maybe, it's actually a lot more uh, interesting than it seems. According to some turkey experts, these turkeys are actually fighting for dominance. Let that one sink in. They are fighting for dominance around a tree. As we know by now, every single animal has its own unique approach to showing power and authority. But I think this is the first time that the fight for dominance has been involved. 
slowly walking around a tree. I'm sure retirement communities all over the world will be adopting this as their very own. Turkeys are strange animals as it is, sure, but this is a whole other level of uniqueness. I didn't even know turkeys had any desire to be alpha generally, but boy, I sure hope whichever one wins will take good care of that tree. I'd hate to see it become the site of another turkey gang war. Number 17. Cheetah Cares for Gazelle You ever have that moment where you start nuzzling and nurturing for your sandwich? Well, what I'm about to show you is kinda like that, but weirder somehow. Believe me, it can always get weirder than a grown adult nuzzling a sandwich. Just watch as this baby gazelle, moments after its birth, approaches a female cheetah at Kenya's Masai Mara National Reserve. The gazelle is looking for some nursing, and the female cheetah seems more than willing to offer it, gently kissing and nuzzling her baby. Only it's not her baby, and when the gazelle tries to run away, the cheetah realizes her error. Even she thought this was her baby. With her primal self coming back out, the cheetah chases down the baby and kills it. Man, maternal instincts really switch from love to murder fast, eh? There's a lot of things in this video you don't see too often. For one, there's the obvious confusion between your offspring and an entirely different species. That doesn't exactly bode well for this cheetah's chances at motherhood. But there's also the maternal side of the cheetahs, which is rarely ever discussed. She actually for a moment seemed to show genuine care and empathy for the young gazelle. Then she went and spoiled it by doing something stupid like eating her. Number 16. Mantis vs. Snake if I sat here right now and told you that a praying mantis could kill a snake, you'd probably call me an idiot. Which is fair, but in this particular case, I would be absolutely right. And in case you don't believe that, I have the proof. Get ready for this. Sure, the praying mantis is teeny tiny, but it's known to be a fearsome and very worthy opponent. In fact, it's been known to kill and devour animals over three times its size. And that obviously includes snakes. Luckily for the snakes, the praying mantis doesn't focus too much on them. In fact, they're pretty good with their diet, preferring the nutritional values that come from insects. But if they're in the mood, a nice hearty snake meal is pretty welcome too. And as you can see, the whole ambush approach tends to work out well for them. So yes, to turn to the initial bizarre thing I said, praying mantises can definitely kill snakes if they so want to. It's just that they tend to avoid it until they feel it's worth their time and energy. It ain't easy being green, you know? You gotta plan and prepare for this stuff. Number 15. Genius Squirrel Everybody knows that squirrels will go to any lengths to protect their nuts. Most of the time, that means they'll just dig a hole in your backyard and stash them in there. Then, when they get hungry, they'll just come right back and dig them all up. That's the conventional way to do things, but some squirrels, they don't think in conventional ways. They like to do things a little more out of the box. They like to hide their nuts in places that nobody would ever think to look. In the case of this squirrel, one of those places would be hidden in the fur of the family dog. Yeah, this squirrel decided to hide his nuts in the fur of a Bernese mountain dog. And I have to admit that it's probably one of the most genius hiding places for, well, anything. Just think about it for a second. Who is ever going to go looking through a dog's fur for food? Only the dog and nuts. A dog doesn't want nuts. Well, he doesn't want other people's nuts. This squirrel has basically cracked the code on protecting your food from other animals. The secret is you just plant it on somebody else. Don't want anybody to eat your chocolate? Put it in somebody else's pocket. Actually, don't do that. That's a terrible idea. I would eat that. Number 14. Baby Scorpion Cannibals Look, there's no way to sugarcoat this. Some animals are weird. 
And by weird, I mean, they're just weird, actually. I don't really have any other way I could possibly describe it. It's just extremely, strangely, bizarrely weird. Like scorpions, what's up with those guys? Most of the time, when an adult animal is preparing for death, they'll just die. And the body will decompose or be buried or any other specific tradition or ritual. Not scorpions, though. They have a more unique system to ensure that the soul of the adult remains. The mother is quite literally with her children forever because her babies eat her. When she's ready to accept the cold embrace of death, the mother will allow her children to digest her body. Of course, when the mama scorpion is eaten. There's also a lot of toxins that get sucked into the baby's bodies, so that means death. Basically, the life of a scorpion mother is not great. You give birth to your babies, raise them, and they repay you by eating you and then dying themselves. It's a pretty weird cycle and nobody seems to enjoy it, but it's tradition. Hell of a Thanksgiving, huh? Number 13. Road Salmon this is Valley Road, an otherwise typical stretch of road in Washington. Nothing out of the ordinary, cars pass by, sometimes it rains, you know, the usual. Oh, also, uh, why did the Skokomish River salmon cross the road? Because it's November. Yeah, that's not actually a great joke, but it's a reliable truth here on Valley Road. Every single November without fail, the road becomes jammed with traffic, and all because a big old parade of salmon escaped the Skokomish Comish River and attempt to get to the other side. Unfortunately, most of them don't make it. Of the thousands of salmon that attempt to make the journey, most of them will end up dying in a field and picked up by a hungry raccoon or hawk. It's a pretty depressing way to end what could have been a great adventure. Just because this happens every year doesn't mean the locals don't find it weird. It's not uncommon for animals to stop traffic, but fish? Fish. And do so regularly? And to not even have a great punchline? To such a perfect joke setup? I mean, seriously, Washington, you have to get your stuff in order here. Please put a joke on the street sign or something. Make my job easier, I'm begging you. Number 12. Athletic Skunks Skunks are mostly known for their disgusting spray, which is unfortunate because it turns out they have a lot more to offer than a particularly bad case of B.O. They're also basically made for a life as clowns. Honestly, same. According to skunk experts, yeah, they exist. This spotted skunk is known to be something of an acrobat among their species. Whenever they feel threatened by a potential predator or some unfamiliar threat, they launch into their defense mechanism, which is unique. They don't get angry or start fighting. They launch into a handstand. Seriously. Just four limbs on the ground, hind limbs up, tail puffed up, classic handstand behavior. And honestly, it would be pretty dang adorable if it wasn't for the fact that you're about 12 seconds away from getting an unbelievably foul spray to the face. Because yes, that's coming. Don't get distracted now. The idea of the handstand is to make themselves appear bigger and scarier to the potential victim. Once they've successfully terrified them into submission, the skunk will lock onto their target, return to their typical size, and say thank you in the usual way. The usual way being a friendly spray of their truly, truly horrific perfume. Number 11. Helicopter Elephants Every single creature on planet Earth has its own set of behaviors. Maybe there's something you do when you're anxious or uncomfortable. Maybe it's some gesture that comes out when you're unsure. And it turns out this goes far beyond just humans. Animals also have these gestures. This video comes out of the Addo Elephant National Park in South Africa and captures the sight of a young elephant calf swinging its trunk around like a helicopter. Now those of us who have seen Dumbo will probably assume that the elephant is trying to fly, but according to the experts, that's not the case. This is just another example of a gesture used to signify something else. In this case, the elephant was probably just unsure about what to do next. He couldn't reach 
reach the water from where he was, so he couldn't join his family, hence his uncertainty and possibly a little anxiety. Animals are much, much smarter than many people give them credit for, and elephants are, by far and away, one of the most intelligent creatures on our planet. So this kind of uncertainty would definitely make sense. But I don't think we can rule out the possibility that this elephant can fly. Not yet, anyway. Number 10. Monkey Adopts Puppy what? You thought it was just humans who found puppies to be almost unimaginably cute? Think again. Even animals have empathy and a whole lot of love for these little things, with some of them volunteering a lot of their time and enthusiasm just to look after them. Case in point, this macaque monkey was wandering the neighborhood of Kareli in Allahabad, India when he found this little pup. After investigating a little bit, the monkey realized that the dog had no owner, or at least that it had been abandoned. So the monkey did what any caring person would. It adopted the puppy, holding it in his arms and carrying it through the streets. And of course, this sight was so adorable and stunning to see that everybody in the area immediately stopped to take notice. Of course, the dog didn't stop the monkey from doing whatever it wanted to do. Macaques are famously independent, willing to do whatever the hell they want to do, whenever they want to do it, and apparently they can do that even when they're carrying a dog around. Pretty impressive multitasking there, eh? If nothing else, this is gonna make a great animated movie at some point. Number 9. Self-Eating Snake is it possible for a creature to actually eat itself? It's a great question that I can't answer. Hypothetically, it seems pretty obvious that, no, a creature could not eat itself. How is that even possible? At some point, you just poop yourself out again? I don't know, man. Anyway, the only animal that could hypothetically get even close to eating itself is a snake, but then there's a limit to how much of yourself you could eat. You see, when snakes get too hot, they tend to get disoriented and confused, which has been known to lead some snakes into eating themselves. And self-cannibalizing rarely works out well for anybody, but I think that's pretty obvious, all things considered. Once they start consuming their own tail, it can be pretty difficult to undo the damage. It's a bizarre situation. Again, I don't really know how it works when it comes to the whole uh, biological self-cannibalism thing, but I'm pretty confident that there's no outcome to it. That's good. I mean, even if you only eat like 50% of yourself, you're probably not going to survive, you know? And I don't think it has anything to do with seasoning or cooking time. Number 8. Monitor Lizard and Eagle what do you do when an eagle decides to hop on your back? Well, actually, the question should really be what can you do? I mean, you have one of the world's most intimidating predators sitting on your shoulders, so good luck with that one. This monitor lizard decided that the best thing to do in this situation was, uh, pretend absolutely nothing is happening. Yeah, even though an eagle was perched on its back, this lizard decided it would just continue moving as if it wasn't there. It's kinda like an old school natural skateboard in a way. And it's being ridden by Tony Hawk. That joke would have killed if it wasn't a damn eagle. Anyway, the point is that this lizard did its best to cope with an unpredictable situation. And while it could have ended up much worse, this is apparently a pretty common phenomenon. Even when facing certain death or just a world of pain, the monitor lizard will just continue pushing forward. Because, hey, you never know what's lurking just around the corner. Or indeed, you never quite know what is sitting on your back and riding around like you're some kind of old-timey carriage. Number 7. Tree Climbing Goats I don't mean this to be an insult to goats or any goat-like creatures, but if you told me that any hooved creature was going to attempt to climb a tree, it would probably just laugh. It just doesn't seem practical, you know? Well, prepare for egg on your face, friends. On an otherwise dusty road between Marrakesh and Asora, you'll find a big old forest of argan trees. It doesn't sound all that interesting, but this stretch of road draws tourists from all over.
who want to get a glimpse at the many goats that hide in the trees. Yeah, if you're ever in this part of the world, you will see herds of hungry goats posing in the branches. They apparently climb some 30 feet above the ground in the hopes of getting the bitter taste and aroma of the tree's fruit. It actually makes up some 84% of their diet. Again, the idea of goats climbing trees is one of the most insane things I've ever heard, but clearly it's a very real thing. I just live in a fantasy world, which, to be fair, is something I think we all kind of knew anyway, but it's always nice to have it said aloud. Number 6. Crossing Dog Now we head over to Georgia, the country, not the state, to meet a dog that can only be described as a true hero. This is Kupata, and he has dedicated his days to help protect the local pedestrians. What a guy! Kupata has single-handedly taken on the responsibility of helping local kids cross the very busy intersection. How does he do that without a big crossing guard setup, you may be asking? He leads the way, and he barks at any and all oncoming cars, demanding they slow down. And if they don't slow down, Kupata is prepared for that too. He's been known to chase down the vehicles that refuse to slow down, which is a new and entirely understandable kind of road rage. So yes, Kupata has pretty much put the city of Batumi, Georgia on the map. And in fact, he's become such a force of good in the community that Georgia's tourism board has officially adopted Kupata. So now he is the city's official mascot, and he has a whole mural dedicated to him and everything. If only every city in the world had a dog like Kupata, maybe we would be in a better place. Nah, we wouldn't, but it would be pretty cute. Number 5. Sheep-eating parrot there's something unsettlingly nightmarish about the idea of a parrot who can somehow eat a whole sheep. But hey, I guess everything in life is nightmarish if you really stop to think about it long enough. In the case of the parrot-eating sheep, you have to head all the way to New Zealand. But hey, it's worth the trip. According to local legend, the Kea only developed its taste for flesh somewhat recently. It's been said that this is a bird that would much rather consume insects, fruits, or berries, but whose diet has taken a turn for the meaty only in the past 30 years. Of course, that's not everybody's belief. One zoologist has claimed that pretty much everything known about this bird is based on second-hand information, which honestly kinda sounds like it could describe every bit of information we have on animals. If you're not an animal, surely everything you know is going to be based on second-hand details. The existential nightmare aside, pretty much everything science knows about the Kea could easily prove the berry claim wrong. The Kea has been munching on live sheep for as long as it's been on Earth. It seems pretty unlikely that it would ever prefer fruit. Number 4. Dolphins Getting High Okay, so it's probably a little too early to compare them to Snoop Dogg, but animals seem to enjoy getting high just like humans do. In fact, it's been claimed that monkeys' love of sugar-rich foods explains our own love of alcohol, if you do love alcohol anyway. But when a crew from the BBC was producing a documentary about dolphins, they never could have imagined they'd get footage like this. What you're seeing is a pod of dolphins playing with a pufferfish. Seems weird, but ordinary enough, right? Here's the thing. They did this for 30 minutes, and they seemed very mesmerized and amused by their own reflections in the water's surface. Now, the puffer fish is known for its highly potent toxins, which it injects whenever threatened. In small enough doses, it apparently gives a dolphin a small, trance-like high, as you're seeing here. I guess the equivalent in humans is… well, you know what the human equivalent would be. The documentary crew were pretty stunned by the whole incident, describing it as the first time dolphins had ever been seen in this way. Until now, they had always seemed like such responsible, calm children. And now, they're getting stoned in the reef. They're on reefers! See what I did? Number 3. Self-Beaching Fish 
The idea of a fish willingly throwing itself onto a beach seems like a pretty terrible idea. I mean, it would be like if a human just decided to drown themselves. Why would you ever do it? You know you're not going to survive. But when it comes to the grunion fish, they don't seem to care too much. When females are finally ready to lay eggs and mate, they'll beach themselves on the sand and drill down to lay their eggs beneath the surface. The male will also beach himself, fertilizer eggs, and both will then attempt to make their way back to the sea and hopefully not die along the way. Of course, that's much easier said than done. Many beaches will gather at the sight of a beach filled with fish, but the grunions are pretty smart and know how to confuse the birds. Even if the grunion fish end up dying, they've already done what they wanted to do. The eggs have been fertilized, so they can rest easy knowing their legacy will live on. Still, it would have been nice to have survived the beaching, I imagine. Number 2. Germaphobe Orangutan If there's anything good that comes out of the pandemic, it's that the world will probably focus more on its own hygiene than ever. We're all constantly washing our hands, trying to keep our distance from others, and just generally being considerate. And it's not just humans doing that. When the COVID-19 pandemic began in early 2020, the orangutan Sandra noticed. Sandra lives in a Florida-based animal sanctuary called Center for Great Apes, and she quickly became fascinated by how the zookeepers and the center were obsessive about washing their hands. In fact, she became so obsessive about it that she started doing it herself. Yeah, Sandra was actually caught on camera washing her own hands with soap and water. Considering that orangutans and other primates are so comfortable using their hands for just about everything, it's pretty fascinating to see a sight like this. Sandra's contribution probably doesn't change much in terms of the hygiene of the center, but it's so good to see that even a monkey is interested in doing her part to help us all get through this unprecedented and confusing time. As we've been told again and again since Disney made that damn movie, we're all in this together. Number 1. Crab and Sea Urchin it's one of the old traditions of our planet. Sometimes you need to carry something for a little extra protection. In human history, that object was usually a gun or a spear, or occasionally a deadly vial of smallpox, but in the animal kingdom, it's other animals. Case in point, this crab, which has decided that the best way to protect itself under the ocean surface is to carry around a sea urchin. Good idea, bad idea, I don't know, but I certainly wouldn't risk messing with an animal that was carrying one of these things around. The wildest thing about all of this is that the sea urchin Chin is 100% on board with the whole thing. Seriously, it's kind of a two-way deal. The crab gets the protection of carrying the sea urchin, and the urchin gets some of the food that the crab gets to enjoy. Everybody wins. Sure, it's a little bit of a struggle carrying a sea urchin around, but hey, is it worth it for that little boost of confidence? Absolutely. You never know when somebody is going to try to attack you, so why not just sick your pet sea urchin on them? I've thought about it myself. What's the weirdest animal behavior you've ever seen? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.